Hey everyone and welcome back to our city Lakewood. I just wanted to start this episode off by wishing everyone a happy new year and all the best for 2021. In this episode we are going to be talking about the fishing industry from the Sunset Harbor DLC. The area surrounding our farming and forestry industry currently isn't being used and since it's right along the shore of the river I thought it would be the best place for a fishing industry. We'll first go over the basics of the fishing industry and then go over implementing the industry in our city. The fishing industry is another specialized industry area similar to those from the industries DLC but differs in a few key areas. You are not required to paint an industrial area, there's no main building, there are no traditional levels to the industry so there's no 1 to 5 star leveling system, and buildings are unlocked by milestones and amount of fish caught or farmed rather than resources produced and number of workers. The fishing industry can be found in the last tab of the Garbage and Industries City Services menu at the bottom. By clicking on this tab, it switches our view to the Fishing Industry Info View, which can also be accessed by clicking on the Fishing Industries button in the Info Views menu on the left. This Info View shows us the distribution of all the different fish available in the waters around our city, as well as water pollution. The types of fish available are anchovies, shown in orange, that prefer still shallow waters, salmon, shown in pink, that prefer shallow waters with flow, shellfish, shown in purple, that prefer deep and still waters, and tuna, shown in blue, that prefer deep and flowing waters. The pollution in the fishing industry's info view is much more sensitive than that of the generic pollution info view. If we switch between these two, we can see that the fishing industry's info view shows pollution coming from our eco water treatment plants, but the generic pollution info view does not. It is important to avoid pollution because it will reduce the catch rate of your fishing vessels, and the fish farms are actually unable to operate in water with any pollution. All types of fishing harbors and farms produce the same resource, which is fish. And the fishing industry is initially unlocked at the third milestone of your city, which is Tiny Town. At this point, you will have access to the generic fishing harbor and the fish market. The generic fishing harbor catches any type of fish, but with a moderate catch rate and low capacity. Specialized fishing harbors are unlocked by catching more fish and are specific to the fish seen in the fishing industry info view. These specialized fishing harbors are more efficient and have higher capacity than the generic fishing harbor. And obviously the rate at which you will unlock these other harbors depends on the efficiency of your fishing route, which we will cover shortly, and the number of harbors you have operating. The fish you catch are either exported to other cities or sent to the fish market where citizens can purchase the fish directly without being processed. The fish factory is unlocked at the fourth milestone, Boomtown, and processes fish resources into fish products that can be sold to commercial areas or exported from the city. Lastly, the fish farm is unlocked at the fifth milestone, Busy Town. The other two farm types, algae and seaweed, are unlocked based on the amount of resources farmed and not fish caught. The fish caught using the fishing harbors and the fish resources farmed are not interchangeable and do not count towards each other's unlocks. Similar to the fishing harbors, the higher level farms produce more resources. There are two city planning policies unlocked at the Big Town Milestone that I will be implementing before I start our fishing industry, and these are Dolphin Safe Fishing and Sustainable Fishing. Both of these policies reduce our fishing yields but will increase citizen happiness. There are two other fishing industry related policies under the Services Policies tab, and they are Fishing License and Algae Based Water Filtering, unlocked at Tiny Town and Busy Town respectively. I likely won't be implementing the fishing license policy, but I will implement the algae-based water filtering policy as soon as it's available to me. After you place your first fishing harbor, you'll notice that there's an icon on top, telling you that the fishing route is incomplete. In order for your harbor to start sending out vessels, you need to draw a fishing route for them to travel along. The tool for drawing your fishing route is found in the fishing industry menu on the far left hand side. You'll also notice that there are two nodes in front of your fishing harbor that you connect your fishing route to, and the fishing route must start and end at the same fishing harbor. Now because we're using the generic fishing harbor, it doesn't matter where we paint our fishing route because we can catch any type of fish at the moment, but if we were using some of these specialized fishing harbors, such as the anchovy fishing harbor, 
we would need to make sure that we draw our fishing route to go through the orange area over here because this is the only area where we can find anchovies. And that is actually the only type of fish that the vessels from that fishing harbor can catch. An interesting thing about the fishing routes is that you can actually draw them outside of city limits. So eventually when we unlock the shellfish and tuna fishing harbors, we can paint our fishing routes to leave the limits of our city and go through the blue and purple areas of the water over here and catch that specific type of fish. But for now, because as I mentioned, we're using the generic fishing harbor, it doesn't matter where we paint our fishing routes. We can make the routes more efficient, but it doesn't really matter where they go. So we're gonna stick to just in front of the fishing harbor that we have right here, and we're gonna catch some salmon. And I'm gonna roughly put in a fishing route for our boats to travel along, just to show everybody what it looks like. Now that the fishing route is in place, we can resume the game and the harbor will start to send out vessels to catch fish for us. Now that the fishing harbor is starting to send out boats, we can click on an individual one to see a little bit more information about what's going on. In yellow, it tells us the action of the boat, and it's either going to be catching a specific type of fish or cruising. It says cruising when the boat is just traveling between one location to another and not actively catching any fish. Below that, we have the fish loaded progress bar that will tell us the capacity of our fishing vessel. And that's going to be important for us to determine the efficiency of our fishing route. So if we go into the fishing industry info view and we go back to that fishing vessel, we can actually watch the progress of that fishing vessel as it goes along the fishing route and see at what point it gets to 100% capacity. All right, I'm just gonna pause it real quick. We can see that this fishing vessel is at 98% capacity and still has a relatively decent amount of distance to travel before it returns to the harbor. What we'll also see is that if I resume the game and we watch this vessel, that once it gets to 100% capacity, we'll actually speed up a little bit and the action will turn from catching salmon to cruising. So that means that as the vessel is cruising, it actually travels at a little bit of a faster speed, but when it is actively catching fish, it is a little bit slower. In order to make our fishing route a little bit more efficient, what we could do is we could actually remove a large section of our fishing route and make it a little bit smaller than what we already have. So I think I'm gonna just adjust it like that. And then what we can do is we can click on another fishing vessel and just watch the progress of it as it travels along our new route. Oh. <laughs> okay, that one was at 99% efficient. So we can actually uh, make it a little bit longer if we really wanted to, just so that we can get that extra 1% of fish into our fishing vessel. So why don't we do that real quick? We'll just make that a little bit longer. I think that'll be plenty for us to get that last 1% into our vessel before it returns to the harbor. There, I don't think it's gonna get any more efficient than what we have right there. I think that'll be perfect. And what we can also do is if you click on the harbor itself, it tells you a fishing route, fishing route efficiency. Now, unfortunately, even if we were to leave our original fishing route in, it would still read fishing route efficiency of 100%. It doesn't count any of that extra uh, distance that the fishing boat had to travel. It just counts that the fishing vessel itself filled up to 100%. So the fishing route efficiency in the um, fishing harbor info view is not as efficient as actually going to the individual vessels and seeing at what point they become full along the fishing route and then adjusting the route accordingly. And that is the basics of the fishing industry. It has been far too long since I released a video, so I apologize for that. And I'm already running out of time to finish this one. So I think I'm going to leave the actual implementation of the fishing industry into Lakewood for a part two of this video. I've already planned and tried out what I wanna do, but I would like to go through it with everyone. Thank you all very much for watching the video, and I hope you enjoyed. Don't hesitate to leave a like, dislike, or a comment down below, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. I appreciate all the feedback and support that I've been getting, so thank you all very much for that. 
Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already for more City Skylines content in the future.